So I've been thinking for a few months now of doing putting this video together primarily because I think that we have a huge problem in this country. I, I know we have a huge problem in this country. Um, it's probably not what you think. Um, so obviously we have BLM, we have the, you know, the whole virus thing that's going on. Um, we're all sitting here and watching our country dissolve into a pile of socialism. And we really, we can't do this anymore. We, we have got to stand up. There are companies out there, there's media out there um, that are literally trying to destroy the country. They're, they're anti-American. Um, there is, n there's nothing about them that, that is pure. They're, they're all trying to destroy the United States. And, and it really comes down to getting rid of Trump. It's, it's the most insane thing I think I've ever witnessed in my entire life. The problem, though, is not with the college kids that are the socialists that have all been brainwashed. The problem is with us because we are sitting here working, paying the bills, doing our thing, wanting to be left alone, and we're allowing these socialist Marxist idiots to take over our country. And everybody sits around and says, well, if this happens, I'm gonna move where? There is not another country on the planet Earth that comes anywhere close to being as great as our country is. Everybody wants to make you feel bad because you think you're better than everybody else. Well, damn it, we are better than everybody else. This country was formed to be free. It, the whole existence of this was to, to show that the government does not run our lives, that we run our lives. And we have, you, you know, we walk into this, this conversation with a socialist or with a leftist. We know at the very beginning that we're not going to win the debate. We're not going to win the argument. It's like Mark Twain said. I believe he's the one that said it. It's like you never get in an argument with an ignorant person because they're going to drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. And, the, and this is true on most cases. But the problem is, is that we've sat around and allowed them to think that they're important. We've allowed them to think that their ideas are ideas worth mentioning in public. And in reality, what needed to happen a long time ago is we need to humiliate these people. We, we don't need to beat them. I'm not saying that we need to go beat them up or anything like that. But when somebody opens their mouth and says something stupid in front of you, you should absolutely annihilate them. You should not. You, they should leave crying because they're all a bunch of wussies anyway. And all they're going to do is get mad and pitch a fit. But when you have the argument with them, it's not for them. It, there is, it's kind of, to me, it's a two-phase a two approach. First, they need to think twice the next time they think they're going to open their stupid-ass mouth and say something ignorant. That's the first part. The second part is, is there's a bunch of people standing around listening, and when those types of things happen they're emboldened to, to speak up the next time somebody says something in front of them. We've all, and I totally understand it. I have a child. I have my wife. I have my business. I have things to lose. These punks running around on the street holding up signs, Black Lives Matter, they're just a bunch of ignorant punks that have never had a job. Their mommy and daddy have been paying for them to live their whole life. And if their mom and daddy were worth a shit, they would be suing the colleges right now for brainwashing their child. But the fact that they're not doing this and they're continuing to give these, these colleges money is proof that none of this stuff is ever going to fix itself. We have to fix it. We can't sit back idle anymore and watch our country dissolve into a pile of shit. Everybody needs to step up and do their part. Um, one of the, just as, as an example, 
we we and, and this is probably something that that we need to do we, we need to figure out some way to organize so that we can better communicate because we're not going to do it over facebook you're not going to do it over twitter we, we need some way to to say okay here are the issues at hand and and we need to do something about this we right now our biggest problem is is we listen to the news we listen to the lies even if you find a you know a good conservative uh news outlet to to listen to you still you're not getting solutions you're getting problems you're getting here's another thing that they're trying to do and 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 so as an example nike that nike is they support every single thing that is going on with all of the black Lives matters and all this other insanity they, they've been behind this crap from the beginning disney uh fedex is now throwing their two cents into this bunch of shit delta has been in, involved in all of this stuff forever amazon got involved and gave 25 million dollars to black Lives matter an anti-american company or organization so we essentially have amazon supporting an anti-american organization and we're all sitting and ordering stuff from amazon so we need to stop ordering from these companies because at the end of the day, these punks run around the street that Amazon and, and all these other companies want to go support, they're not buying products. We're the ones buying all of the products. So if we all just say, you know what, Amazon, it's cool that you want to support Black Lives Matter, but we want to make sure that you know that we're not going to support you. And so feel what it feels like when the silent majority takes their money and starts buying from local businesses and stops ordering products from you. Delta Airlines, you want to support Black Lives Matter and you want to have all this racially divisive language in your, in your uh, publications and have uh, race specific websites and all this other stuff, that's fine. You go do that. That's your business and that's your prerogative. But at the end of the day, the silent majority is going to buy tickets from American Airlines or companies that are more supportive of the American ideas, not of just supporting the, the biggest whim, the, the, the guy that stands up and starts screaming. Sometimes people need to tell the guy screaming to sit down and shut his mouth instead of sitting here and continuing to cater to him. If his ideas are ignorant, he's ignorant. You can't sit here and act like everybody that stands up and says I'm being discriminated against has an actual case. And I'm just sick of this. We're, I'm literally sitting here on one hand afraid to, and, and to be, I'm not afraid, but I'm afraid from the perspective of my family. And on the other hand, I'm sitting here watching my, my country fall apart and voting and thinking that these politicians are going to go fix our problems for us is probably one of the most ignorant things that we even think. I haven't met a politician, David or uh, Nunez and, and some of those guys, yes, they're fighting for us, but they can't do this on their own. I, we can fix this problem. We need to get together and we need to say, pick a company, Amazon, Amazon, Here's a list of, of, of our you know complaints, or I don't even care about the complaints. Amazon, you want to support this product, this program, do it. But we're no longer doing business with you. In a month, everything would change. As soon as these people see that we are the ones that are in control, we're the ones paying the taxes, we're the ones buying the products, we're the one that's doing everything. The politicians wouldn't have a paycheck if it wasn't for us working our asses off and paying all the taxes that we pay every year. These people that they're running around supporting, every single Democrat that is running, every single Democrat that's in office, they all cater to people that don't work. They don't produce anything. All they want to do is run around the, the cities and burn statues or tear down statues and burn buildings. These are the people that these, that these Democrats and some Republicans are supporting. The problem with the Republicans is not that they're supporting these people, but that they actually let them get away with what they're doing. 
We don't have enough Republicans with balls enough to stand up and say enough is enough. We need to fix all this crap and we're not putting up with it anymore. Instead, they walk around with, with no spines and worry about somebody complaining about them on CNN and then they're going to have to go issue an apology because we've got all the Black Lives Matter people are upset. Well, those people are idiots. And by the way, people, what in the hell are we looking at with Black Lives Matters? Every time I turn the TV on and see a, a parade of these dumbasses walking down the street, they're all white. They've got 20 black people that are walking around with them. And, the, and yes, they walk into these cities like New York and, and Seattle, and they get these, these poor uh, mob mentality black people to go out and burn buildings down. But the white people, the college kids specifically, they're, not, I, they're, they're college kids that have been brainwashed into Marxist ideas, and they are the ones that are going out and doing all this stuff, and the black community is not behind them. They're, I mean, I, I just it, this whole thing blows my mind that CNN and MSNBC and all these, these news organizations put out all this propaganda of of black people being outraged because of all the racial discrimination and I've never met a racist I don't I don't even I don't I don't know I don't care what color people are if you're an asshole you're an asshole if you're a dumbass you're a dumbass your color has absolutely nothing to do with any of that stuff so the reason that I'm putting the, this video up is is I really do believe deep down in my heart that conservatives and, and really just everybody that is being silent right now, when you wake up in the morning and go, man, this sucks, but somebody needs to go fix it. You know, we need the bikers to go out and, and beat these BLMs into the gutters. We need, you know, we, the problem is, is we don't need anything. We don't need anything. All we need to do is take our money and tell every single one of these people, every single one of these companies, that we are no longer doing business, good luck on your future. Because the people they're supporting and the programs that they're supporting, and I'm, and I'm not suggesting that we, that we go just insane with this and shut down all these companies, but you shut one of them down and the rest of them are gonna be paying attention. You know, Chick-fil-A is a good example. Chick-fil-A stood up to the, the, the gay right movement in the, you know, 10 years ago. And what happened to them when they supported it? Every single silent majority person said, you know what, we're, we're done with this. We're gonna support Chick-fil-A. You've got the, the company that just came out recently in support of Trump. What's happened to them? They're selling more products now than they ever sold before because they're standing behind a good idea and we support their, you know, their, their support of that idea. So we support them. Well, why are we supporting the people that are against us? Why are we supporting Twitter? We should all just get off of Twitter. Let the idiots run Twitter. Let the idiots post on Twitter. It'll be the, the junkiest bunch of shit. Nobody will even want to go to Twitter. So we should all just pull out of it. Go to Parler or, go to, or get off of it all together. I don't even have a Facebook account anymore because I got sick of all the political bullshit that runs around uh, uh, Facebook. So stop it we can stop this we just have to stand up and let these companies know enough is enough